guys, I'm Sushmita from Missing Shoes and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I remove my makeup. In my skincare video and my other older videos, I've spoken about how important it is to remove your makeup properly and neatly. Now, I'm a person who's obsessed with skincare. A lot of people ask me if wearing makeup on a regular basis affects my skin. Personally, it doesn't because I make sure that my makeup is off when I don't need it and I make sure it's off properly and also I take really good care of my skin I pay a lot of importance to it so yeah wearing makeup on a regular basis hasn't affected my skin personally but I strongly feel that if you don't remove your makeup properly it can cause damages to your skin so make sure you remove your makeup properly there is a certain way that I do it and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys so there are two makeup removers that I personally love the first one is the Bioderma Sensibo H2O now a lot of bloggers talk about it and that's when I went and bought it but it's been a year since I've been using it and I'm absolutely in love with it so this is the 100 ml bottle it's the smaller packaging so this is a water based makeup remover it does not make your eyes burn at all unlike the other makeup removers I've tried a lot of makeup removers especially water based and they make my eyes burn like crazy but this one even if it falls into my eye it does not burn at all so I am totally totally in love with this one this also moisturizes my skin instead of making it dry so that's one more reason why I love it the only downside of this product if there is one is the pricing the 100 ml bottle costs about 600 rupees and the bigger bottle I think it's about 250 ml that costs about 900 so the only downside about the product is the pricing but a little goes a long way this bottle goes on for about one and a half to two months for me and I'm not the only person who uses it sometimes I use it for others and when I try out makeup for YouTube or just like that to come up with something new I do need to use makeup remover so I use makeup remover much more than any of you would but yeah this is a very very long lasting product and I would highly recommend this makeup remover the second makeup remover that I really really like is the Biotique Bio Element Soothing Face and Eye Makeup Cleanser. So this is an oil based makeup remover. So oil based makeup removers generally don't make your eyes burn but this one is so moisturizing. It is little oily but it won't make your skin any oilier. You will find the need to use a face wash which I either ways recommend no matter which makeup remover you're using but I personally prefer water based makeup removers over oil based so that's why I use this much lesser than I use my Bioderma but this is again a really nice makeup remover so this has 120 ml of product and it is priced at rupees 190 which is very very pocket friendly so if you are on a budget and you don't mind using an oil based makeup remover then this one is the one to go for this is also a very long lasting product any oil based makeup remover you use would last you long and so is this one and yeah I'm just going to show you how I use them and remove my makeup so first I'm just going to push over my hair back. So I always prefer using flat cotton wipes instead of using the cotton balls or the regular cotton because that tends to stick to my skin every time I put any product over it and these are easily available at every departmental store or health and law or even online. So I really like using these. So what I do, I take two or three of them and stack it over each other. Since I'm wearing glitter on my eyes and a strong lip color, I will require a lot of cotton and makeup remover. So I'm going to be using Bioderma for this uh, video but you can do the same with any other makeup remover. So what I like to do is take the stack and take the makeup remover and pour it nicely over it. So that it goes all the way to the third cotton and then I flip it around and pour some more. And then I press it like this so that the makeup remover distributes evenly among all the cotton. So each cotton wipe will have at least two layers. So I'm just going to peel out the first layer of the first cotton wipe. That's just one layer. And then first I'm going to wipe out all my base makeup. So you don't have to be harsh with your skin. Be really gentle because this makeup remover is really good. It will remove all your makeup nicely. So first I'm just removing my base. And then I'm going to flip it around and wipe off the other side of my face. Then I'm going to take the next layer, that's the second layer of the first cotton ball and I'm going to first sideways remove my eye maker. So I'm just pressing it very softly and then just moving it away. And in just one swipe, half of my makeup is already out. And then 
I'm going to push my finger like this below my cotton wipe and I'm just going to wipe out my waterline to remove my kaji. So now taking the flip side of this cotton wipe, I'm going to close my eye and push it downward to remove my mascara. Now you have to be really careful of this step and be as soft as you can because you're dealing with your lashes and they can fall out very easily. So this way your lashes will stay intact and your makeup will come out very easy. And now again going below my eye. Now taking the next layer and doing the same on the other eye. First sideways. Then my kajal. And now my mascara. Now taking the next layer to remove makeup from my neck and my lips. So first I'm wiping it on my neck. And my ears if I have any makeup on there. And now the lips. So I'm just going to wipe it out in a horizontal motion. And then I'm just going around the lip to clean it nicely. Now we still have one cotton left and this is not waste because even after you remove your entire makeup there is still some left over even if you can't see it. So take off your next layer and go over your skin again and you'll still find makeup coming out. So after you are done with this, I would highly recommend using a face wash and cleaning your face again because no matter how amazing your makeup remover is, you do need to get rid of all the chemicals that are on your face. So I always use a face wash after removing my makeup. Another makeup remover that I've really been enjoying are the Cara makeup removing wipes. I just finished mine yesterday so I'll try putting a picture here. These makeup remover wipes are really really nice but the only problem with this is that you need at least two makeup remover wipes to remove your entire makeup and the smallest pack has 10 wipes and the biggest one I think has 30 or 50 wipes so for me it's not the most long lasting option but it's really nice for traveling so I bought the small 10 wipe pack and I carry it around in my bag and in my travel bag so whenever I travel it's convenient so I hope you guys like this video please do take care of your skin and make sure to remove your makeup don't sleep even with a bit of kajal on it can affect your skin i hope this video helped you guys and if it did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next video bye